Breaking news, Buhari has overruled Supreme Court with the reintroduction of old 200 Naira note, Obani says. Yeah, so we we'll all watch the national uh, address by the President uh, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, uh, this morning, uh, where he said that 200, uh, old 200 Naira note can get back in circulation, uh, but 500 and 1,000 Naira notes, no. Those money should, 500 and 1,000 Naira note should be taken to uh, CBN designated centers for exchange. Okay, but they will not get back into circulation. Okay, and uh, there's mixed reaction around that because some people are saying, yeah, 200 Naira note with uh, 150 Naira note in circulation, common man can find his way around life. Okay, it's only big people that actually want to move huge amount of money in lie in small chunks and small sizes are the people crying about the 500 and 1000 that I know and that makes a bit of sense okay so now uh, i know that the address was a long one it's coming out to the public in a written form in bits by bits as well so the part that we are sharing now is the part that says that uh, buhari uh, has uh, allowed or uh, overruled supreme court with the reintroduction of 200 naira notes uh, you know, back in circulation. Dr. Monde Obane, the Nigerian human rights lawyer, has spoken on President Muhammad Ubari's nationwide address. Okay, he said that the reintroduction of the old 200 naira notes into the Nigerian economy by President Muhammad Ubari is an overruling of the Supreme Court order that says old notes remain illegal tender. Well, so, so from a legal point of view, Okay, the Supreme Court said both the 200, the 500, and the 1000 Naira note remains legal tender until the case in the court is concluded. That was the order, uh, ex party order given by the Supreme Court sometime last week. Okay, but what Buari is saying, in other words, is that okay, 200 Naira note can be a legal tender for now, get it back in circulation, or 500 and 1000 Naira note. No, that sounds like executive order in West, okay? And that is what Daniel Obani is, uh, or Monday Obani rather, is trying to say here that that Buaris, part of Buaris address is actually overruling Supreme Court order. Well, yeah, so if the order of the Supreme Court should, uh, should, uh, you know, should, should hold, it therefore means that even the president is bound by it, okay? But now, the president has overruled some part of that order by allowing the introduction of 200 naira note back in circulation. Hmm. The president is an, in, a, in an address on Thursday ordered the CBN to recirculate the old 200 naira note until 10th, while the old 500 and 1000 naira note will no longer be accepted by deposit uh, money banks as, as well. Okay, so Bani, who was a guest on China's television Sunrise Daily, said, the, de the development was a bad precedent, precedent and shows the level of respect the current administration has for court orders. He said there was an interim order which says there should be a stay of action until all grievances are looked at because unfortunately many other states are joining the suit and the Supreme Court saw the wisdom in giving room for other parties to join so that there will uh, there there will be proper uh, parties before it will, before it, okay, before going ahead to look at the issues on its merit. That was why there was an adjournment yesterday. But unfortunately, what the president has done this morning is ignore whatever is going on at the Supreme Court. And when you say you will only allow O200 Naira notes to be in circulation, it means that O500 and 1000 Naira notes no longer, uh, are no longer legal tenders. Okay? My own understanding of what has taken place is that he has overruled the Supreme Court. He is clearly not mindful of what is going on at the Supreme Court with that he has just done. With what he has just done. Hmm. I am not too happy with what has happened this morning in terms of the president overruling the Supreme Court. Supreme Court. We are not telling the world that we are practicing democracy. It is not a proper 
president. <laughs> so if you cannot obey your court order, how do you instill confidence in the international community to come into your country to make investment? In case there is any dispute, can there be a decision of the court that can be complied with within your country? We are not sending the right signal. President Buhari in the national broadcast said the Naira redesign will, among others, others stem inflation, curb corruption, and improve transparency. He also said he has asked the CBN to make the new banknotes more accessible to Nigerians and appealed for their understanding. He further said the redesign of the currency has reduced the influence of money in politics, assuring of credible general elections this month. Of course, those are key things that, uh, and that is why Nigeria is divided about the decision and about the Nara redesign. Some are saying, well, uh, it's a good decision because it's obvious uh, we need to stop this uh, politics of cash, politics of money. Okay? Politics of cash, politics of money need to stop. And uh, it's obvious too that the big wigs in the politics actually have stockpiled and uh, stashed cash in some places and to use them to buy vote. It's glaring, it's obvious. Okay? And that's what Nigerians are saying, well, the suffering will be for a momentary period. After election, everything will be back to normal. Let us bear it. But as far as vote buying is concerned, let's say bye bye to it. Okay? But some are saying, no, the suffering is too much. The government is insensitive. They must stop it completely. Now the man has come out to say, take 200 naira note, but leave 500 and 1000 out of it. Let's return them. They will not be legal tender. And now we are breaking it down into pieces to say, um, you know, he has overruled the Supreme Court order. Let's look at both, both, uh, uh, both sides of the same coin. One is obeying the rule of law. Of course, in, in Nigeria, they have not been obeying rule of law before now. When it comes to small man, the judiciary will be at full blast. But when it comes to big people in, in Nigeria with huge amount of money to buy their way through, it becomes he who pays the piper that detains the toll. It becomes a case of uh, buying justice. He, you know, a case of uh, a highest bidder. That is how it is in Nigeria. So when it comes to small man, hmm, swing. In fact, the case in two days is concluded. The person is charged to court, is sent to prison. You understand? But if it's a, if it's a big man or a, a, a politically influential person, the next thing you will see is they will just buy their way through and case closed. So there's nothing like obeying rule of law or court order in Nigeria. After all, the canon for several months now have been discharged and acquitted by the judiciary system. But the executive refused. Buhari and his people, Malami, they refused to let Namde Kano go. And that is not disobeying court order. So it's, it's, <laughs> Nigeria is a jungle, okay, where the big animals eat the small ones. It's an animal farm. It's quite unfortunate it's like this, but it's a situation we find ourselves. And that is why we're saying that with this election coming now, we should use this opportunity to right the wrongs and to put the right people in power so we can restore the sanctity of all the tiers of government and ensure that Nigeria becomes what it's supposed to be even before Committee of Nations in the world. All right. So I've got a few comments here. Uh, let's see what somebody has to say here. I will say we are in support of what Mr. President has just said because this new Naira scarcity will bring free and credible election to uh, and no vote buying. Somebody says, so we shall be changing our currency every four years. Yeah. Do we have credible candidates? I'm talking about credible election. Can you imagine? Somebody said, it's not proper to obey a corrupt court. The Supreme Court of Nigeria is a shame to the country. Then why should one respect such a body? The, the manner the minor and Ahmed Lawan is the case study. Yes, cash and carry Supreme Court. That is what it is. I agree with you on this. Our Supreme Court is shameless. That is true. How can Buhari overrule the Supreme Court? The judiciary is above every man, irrespective of his or her position in Nigeria, when it comes to legal matters. For where, but then, if the judicial system is corrupt, what happens? The same politicians have corrupted the judicial system. Now they know there is money in political matters. So it becomes a case of highest bidder. You buy justice. Okay? Somebody say, do we still have judiciary in Nigeria? We don't. And that is my answer and the response to that. We don't. 
But we, you know, when it comes to small man, you see them in full black. When it comes to big politician, it becomes the case of highest bidder. Most of the judgment from Supreme Court work against the masses in this country. Nigerian citizens no longer trust their judgment. In fact, if we keep allowing them, they will kill our democracy completely. <laughs> that is true. That is true. That is true. Um, so those are the few comments we have. We have more of them, but we won't be able to go through all of them. But what Monday Obani is saying here is that Buhari has overruled the Supreme Court order with the reintroduction of old 200 Naira note. Let's have a comment for learning and for sharing as well.